This is Freya with another edition of How to Sing That Song. Today's song was requested by someone and I'm doing Leona Luce's A Moment Like This. Now this song I would be categorizing under the category of power ballads. And there's a very specific style that power ballads have. Now Leona Lewis is an awesome singer. She's also a singer that whenever she sings low, she has a lot of vibrato. She has a kind of a slow vibrato when she goes low. So don't try to imitate that. Just do your own thing. The main stylistic issue here is really to not wobble too much, to keep it very clean and very exact. So let's dive right into it. A lot of times I told you that the intro is your opportunity to get into the mood. And it starts very softly and very low. So relax and get into your low voice. What if I told you it was all meant to be? So get close to the mic to where it has this very soft, low color. Don't push it. All meant to be. Don't try to dig into there. Very relaxed. Just touch on those pitches. Would you believe me? Would you agree? Now, whenever it does go a little bit higher here, use that short moment to let your voice kind of blossom a little bit. Would you agree? It's almost that feeling. Again, it's almost that feeling. There's a little accent here, not really accented, but it's just like when I'm talking, I'm relaxed when I'm low. And when I get a little bit higher, I get a little more volume into there. It's almost that feeling that we've met before. Again, whenever you go down, just barely touch on that pitch. Tell me that you don't think I'm crazy. Again, the top note, bring it out. It needs to kind of blossom. What helps if you speak through it. Tell me that you don't think I'm crazy. It needs to be chesty, but still you need to be very careful with that. Just caress those pitches. And another really important issue here is breathing. Take your time to breathe and breathe very deep, way down here. Make sure you expand all the way around to the front and all the way on your back too, so that the air goes way down, way down into your abs here. It's really important because we have long phrases and whenever it goes up, it's so important that you take your time to breathe and have full lungs full of breath, that way you can make it through those long phrases and you have good support. When I tell you love has come here and now. Now the next part here is a little tricky to get into that. You need to already think of the new key, it modulates here. A moment like this. And here it shifts. You come from those very low notes that are barely touched to this full power, full power, full chest voice here. And um, here the note, the high pitch is a, is a B. So that's actually, it should be okay for most female singers. It should be just fine. You could probably sing that in chest voice. But again, if you're having a hard time, what I suggest always is to speak through it, just to feel how actually it is much simpler than you may think. A moment like this. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. So whenever you have a hard time and you think like, okay, I can't get quite up there. It shouldn't be pushed. It shouldn't be tight. It should be full of intensity, but it shouldn't sound like you're killing yourself. A moment like this. Some people for a moment like this Some people search forever For that one special kiss oh, I can't believe 
it's happening to me. And this is the really long phrase here. Pretty much it just stays up there in the chest voice. And then before the, oh, I can't believe it's happening to me, really take a very deep breath because it's a long phrase here. And another thing that's really important is, again, just pretend like it's one long words. Some people search forever for that one special kiss. So you have more vowel to sing on. You need to sing on the vowel because that's very singable. So make it very long and make it as if it were one big word. Oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. Which means within the phrase there's never a glottal attack. It's not, oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. No, just just make one long word out of it and breathe. I can't believe it's happening to me Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this And here on like this, I talked about this before This is usually the form of a ballad, of a power ballad or a lot of other songs too Is that the end of the chorus is the connection piece that leads you to the next verse. So that lasts for a moment like this. That doesn't have such a high intensity anymore. That lasts like this. It needs to connect. If you were going to go for a moment like this. What if I told you? It's mm, It doesn't really pave the way to get into that next verse because what needs to happen is actually that it needs to be clear that your thoughts are already connecting to the next phrase your mood already gets into that so that way you can take your audience with you for a moment like this and the second verse similar to the first verse just very touch those low notes barely just Make sure you're relaxed. You don't put any tension on your throat or your larynx. Just very neutral position. And then good support. Very good support. And just don't let too much air out. Make sure you stay relaxed here. Everything changes. Your beauty remains. Something so tender. I can't explain. Now what you could do with the second verse, uh, which happens usually, is you could just make a little variation. I can't explain. Well, I may be dreaming, but till I awake, can't we make this dream last forever? Again, change of voice colors. Forever. Forever. Just use this little uh, glottal attack here forever, if you wish. If you don't like that, don't do it, but just do it in your own style. And I'll cherish all the love that we share. Deep breath. A moment like this. And so on. And then comes the chorus again, which is the same one as the first time around, except that the end of this course that's coming now after the second verse connects to the bridge which increases in intensity some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this now deep breath could it be the greatest love of all and what i like to do is not do it too straight but just kind of bend the pitch a little bit because those pitches that are here normally it would be dieses could it be the greatest love of all instead it's kind of a blue note it it's lowered it's altered could it be the greatest love of all 
so what I like to do is kind of lean into that a little bit. If you were doing it in slow motion, it would be like this. Could it be the greatest love of all? I wanna know that you'll catch me when I fall. So try to stay on those pitches pretty straight, not too much vibrato. Try to stay straight a lot of time. It's better to stay more straight than too extremely vibrato here. I want to know that you catch me when I fall. I think that's too much. I want to know that you catch me when I fall. So let me tell you things. Again, the end here is the connection piece to the next phrase. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment. And now it modulates, which means it's not an end of anything. It's actually at the same time that it ends this phrase, it's going to start the next phrase and the next chorus, which is modulated. Like this, some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this, some people search forever. Now what I would suggest here is that you really pay attention to the vowels on the top, because they may determine if you can actually get that pitch cleanly or if you are struggling with it. Some people search whether, whether it's easier for you to sing search, I think it's easier to open it up. Search, search. Some people search forever. Hold it one, one. Again, one. Really think an ah on the top. Hold it one special kiss. And again here, oh, don't think so much oh, think ah. Uh. Oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. And then it repeats. And again, I think generally the intensity in the chorus here needs to be fairly high. However, I think it's better if you're struggling on the top. I think then it's better if you just switch into something more breathy. I think it's not terrible. If you go like this. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Some people search forever. So I think in a song like this, if you give it meaning, you really, there's no way you're going to hit those high notes very cleanly. It's better to scale it back and to maybe give it just a slightly different feeling by making it soft on the top. But you can still bring the point across and be very convincing and to be authentic and really mean it. Now, after the next chorus, it has this twist. We're going to have to go into head voice because it goes way up on the A. The word me up there may not be that easy. Don't worry about it. Everybody's going to understand because this part came before and so everybody knows the words by now. I can't believe it's happening to me. So basically what you need to do, happening to me. Just don't think E so much, just think meh, meh. The most important thing is breathe before. Don't breathe right before happening to me. Don't breathe there. It's happening to me. Take your time now. Take all the time. It, ca it creates tension. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. I hope that my tutorial could help you sing that song a little bit better. Um, I'm actually pretty sick today. 
I was all week long and I haven't actually sung and um, I have to cough all the time so I'm editing everything out. Uh, by the time you see this I have edited all those coughs out that are happening in between. But I really hope that this could help you. And don't forget to tune in on Friday for another singing tip more on the technical side. Also catch me on all the social media on Instagram, on Pinterest, on Facebook and of course on Periscope where I do live broadcasts Monday through Friday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And don't forget, always keep on singing and always keep a song in your heart. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Bye. <clears throat> Deep breath.